Hey, I thought I would review the PQI iConnect Mini. Um, so it's a USB and a Lightning um, dual USB, I guess, dual storage. Um, it's made in China. That little CE means China Export. Um, it's got all its uh, certifications and everything. Um, it's this nice little twisty action. It kind of like clicks in. Um, it's really nicely finished and it looks kind of machined. Um, it comes with this absolutely horrible strap, a PQI strap, which should just be thrown in the bin as soon as you get it because like part of the beauty of this thing is that it's so small. Um, and then like imagine that hanging off it, like no thank you. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's really easy to use. Um, so what happens? Let's have a go. Get the lightning port. And then you plug this in here and it fits in even with a case on. It's pretty nice. And then this message comes up says app not installed. And then would you like to go get it? You go, I would like to go get it. Thank you very much. And then I've downloaded it before but I deleted it to kind of show you that message thingy. And it'll we'll download. It's not a very big app. Cool, so let's go have a look at it. So that's the app there. The app looks pretty average. Let's go with average. Um, and yeah, let's have a go. Okay, so this is the this is the app. Um, what these two buttons do is quick backup of all your photos. So like, oh, I want to back up all my photos. Yes, please. I've got a lot of photos. What that does is it saves it to this bad boy and you can plug the USB in on the computer and just view it like a normal USB. It's really impressive. Um, and I guess we'll wait till that finishes. Yep, cool. Same thing with the videos. does the exact same thing. You can take photos from the camera directly onto the uh, storage. Also, you can use it as a um, USB device. So like just make normal fo folders and all that kind of stuff you know it's uh it's actually quite impressive you can view PDFs off the device um, there's all the photos that have been backed up there um, so one thing I would add is there's only five buttons on the main screen um, and then this settings thing personally I would think that they should put this value here. So it's a 128 gig uh, storage device and it says used 4.7 percent like that. A little bit of information could very easily fit somewhere here because that's pretty that's a pretty important piece of information just there. Um, I have literally no idea what that is so we'll just ignore it. Um, yeah the app's pretty average looking but it works and that's good and all the things that you need are kind of there. Um, what I wanted to do, and if you don't have it plugged in, it says um, can't be found, everything kind of greys out. Cool. And so, what I wanted to do was compare it to this bad boy. So, this thing costs 150 Australian dollars. Um, you can get it for as much as 250 Australian dollars. That's ridiculously expensive. Um, it's 128 gig USB. So this bad boy, which is the Android version, um, so USB over there, and micro USB over here, 64 gig, costs $30. Exact same thing, if anything, this one need, does more and doesn't use an app. Um, but because of Apple's ecosystem, um, and I guess kind of making it difficult for anyone to use something like this because they want you to buy the more expensive phone rather than buy the, the storage. Um, these things do an extremely good job but they're very expensive so for the price this thing is better because it does more and is cheaper but because Apple makes it so hard to use um, third-party products it's just difficult for the um, for the manufacturers to kind of be competitive in price. Um, but yeah, so 
using it as a USB, it's just an all USB, um, nothing kind of fancy there. This thing it just recognizes it as if you've got another another hard drive in your phone, that's a normal USB as well. Um, I definitely recommend these. Uh, you probably won't need 128 gig ever. Like I've got a 128 gig iPhone, um, but I've used up like hardly any of that space. Um, really convenient. Pretty well made. Um, if anything, I'd probably add something like a protect. I don't like this little flippy thing. Um, I think it'd be better if it was like enclosed. Like, well, let's have a look. Um, maybe something like this. This is pretty good. Big fan of this design because um, the whole the whole thing is enclosed. So like often with the, even the enclosed devices, like there you can still access the terminals, the metal bits. Like this one, when you close it, it gets shut off. So good design. Yeah, cool. That's my review.